Hi, I'm Jackie, still in lockdown in London. I hope you're well. I know that jewellery is not going to be top of your list of priorities at present, but birthdays, anniversaries and significant events still come and go. But if you are intending on buying jewellery, I want for you to be making smart choices. So I'm going to run through some ideas of things that you might want to consider so that you get more sparkle for your spend. So I'm going to start with stacking rings because they offer you so many options. They're really beautiful. The first ring I'm going to pop on is an oval amethyst set in rose gold. Beautiful, worn by itself. But you can add to it. I've got a little beaded rose gold ring, which looks great by itself, or it acts as a really fab, versatile bridging ring. And I've got another one here that has a little ball of parve set diamonds. So you get some sparkle. Stacking rings work really well if you contrast them with different textures and different cuts. So if you have a cabochon and a faceted stone, they look really terrific. And you can um, swap the diamond with a little smoky quartz to contrast color. And that's a really beautiful combination. If you like this concept, the choice available is vast. You'll never be stuck for inspiration. For those of you who are familiar with my website, you'll know that I'm a big fan of hoop earrings. They come in a huge variety of colors, shapes, sizes, and textures, and they work beautifully as a platform for detachables. So you can change your look as quickly and easily as your lipstick. I'm going to start with some small gold hoops that have a satin texture and I'm going to pop some little amethyst detachables on them. So here we go, little amethyst drop. But if you wanted to make a bolder statement, just wear bigger hoops. So here we have same detachables, different hoops. So it changes the look. When it comes to the drops, you can let your imagination run wild. Little ruby hearts, little trillion spinel, baroque pearls, little diamond drops. We've been producing bespoke jewelry since 2006. And it's actually exploring all these different options, which is half the fun, and you can really personalise your look. I hope that's given you some food for thought. For more ideas, you can subscribe to my newsletter via my website, like me on Instagram, and you can always get in touch if you've got any queries.